praises and glory to Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham Ha Raka Kodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, which taught us the truth, and Shalom to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. May you endure to the end. Shalom. So I was watching this show of Dave Hodges, which he's the host of the Common Sense Show. And this show that he did tonight, which is September 7th, September 18th, this was listed September 17th. So one night ago, all right, 2021, the year of hastening, the coming day of Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai. And as you can read the title, it says, Red Alert Report on the State of the Union on Constitution Day. Red Alert Report on the State of the... Which he was just pretty much repeating himself. But I was watching this whole video. Usually he makes a, like a little five-minute video. This video here is almost an hour long. And he pretty much just goes off on his own government you know he's pretty much telling them that uh, Biden needs to be uh, tried for treason for what he done in Afghanistan uh, there's a general that he was saying that needs to be uh, arrested and put in prison and even possibly put to death for treason all right uh, the tax rate uh, it's gonna go up to 50 to 60 percent Oh, what is the other one? There was uh, the poisoning of the environment. Uh, that, I mean, there was so much he went in on what's wrong with his kingdom. Because he is an Edomite, all right? The Edomites are the so-called Caucasians, the devil the Bible speaks of. The Israelites are the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians which been scattered throughout the world of slavery. Now the whole time he was pretty much telling his listeners that they need to stand up because if not, you know, what's next? What's next that they're going to take away from you? If they're already telling you you're going to pay 50 to 60 percent of your income to the government and that this government pretty much is out of control, all right, what what are they going to take away from you? What rights do you have left? So he was pretty much rousing his people, his listeners, you know, to rebel against the government. And that made me think of 2 Ezra chapter 15. It says in verse 1, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people, the Israelites, which are the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, which have been scattered throughout the world of slavery, the words of prophecy, and that's what the Holy Scriptures are, prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. Now I'm going to jump down to verse 14. Well, let me go actually up to verse 5 behold saith the Lord I will bring plagues upon the world the sword which is the so called white man famine death and destruction and that's what follows it now I'm going to jump down to verse 14 and it says Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword, once again, the so-called white man, the devil the Bible speaks of, and their destruction draweth nigh. So they have a short time, which you've heard the king of Babylon, which is sleepy Joe Biden, pretty much say that himself, that they have but a short time, that they're getting restless, they're losing patience because the so-called minorities are not taking the jab, which we know that's a, a form of genocide. It says, and 
one people shall stand up and fight against another and swords in their hands. All right, well, even here in Denver, Colorado, we were working downtown and they have the entire capital surrounded with fences. And I looked it up on the 18th, which, you know, we're in the early morning of 18th. We're at uh, 12.39 a.m. They're saying that there's going to be protests throughout the United States on this day. Which, if you understand what 18 is, 18 is three sixes. 666, six, six, six times three is 18. All right? And Esau wants these people to get roused up. He's been doing everything he could to make these people upset. His own people, you know, these patriots, to rouse them up and make them go out there with the sword in their hand so he could pretty much arrest them or kill them. All right? He speaks peaceable words, but war is in his heart. It says in verse 16, for there shall be sedition among men. And that word sedition is means that they're going to go against their government with the sword, which is the weapon. It says, And invading one and another, they shall not regard the kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power so the Lord is going to give them over to them he's going to make these people get to a breaking point and they're going to stand up and fight against the government and he's going to allow the politicians to be subject to these people and they're going to tear them to pieces it says a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able but you're going to have partial law lockdown uh, also they said that if you don't have the jab by October no more driving all right so it says in verse 18 for because of the pride of their heart because of the pride because of their pride the city shall be troubled the houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. Because it tells you in uh, Zechariah 14 that the, the houses are going to be destroyed and women are going to be raped. It says, A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy the houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread, which there's already a famine in America and it's going to get much worse. And for a great tribulation. Now let me go ahead and get that Zechariah so you can see it for yourself. Zechariah 14. Verse, we'll start with verse 2. For I will gather all nations against Jerusalem to battle. Talking about all these nations are confederate against the Israelites. And the city shall be taken and the house is rifled. The word rifle means knocked down. Just like they've done in Syria where it was a functioning city. But in the midst of war, the buildings were knocked down. And the city, and the city shall be taken and the house is rifled and the women ravished. So the women are going to be raped. And half of the city shall go forth into captivity, which they're going to put you in a FEMA camp. And the residue of the people shall not be cut off from the city. Then shall Yahweh go fight and I'm sorry, go forth and fight against these nations, those nations, as when he fought in the day of battle. So he's not going to allow them to destroy his elect, his hopeful elect, 
that are on the highways and the byways prophesying. He's going to protect us. Now let me go to 2nd Ezra 13. I'm um, not 13, 9. 2nd Ezra 9, verse 1. And it's an angel talking to Ezra about the last days. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest pass of the signs, I'm sorry. And when thou seest part of the signs pass, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, which that's what Dave Hodges is talking about, why should the patriots rise to the occasion and protest, which will be the uproars of the people, which there's already uproars around the world? Then shall thou, then shall thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning, for like as all that is made in the world has a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. And this is the end of America, the end of virgin daughter Babylon, who are to be destroyed. And America, according to biblical prophecy, is going to suffer a very, very, very violent end. So you that have an ear to hear what the Spirit saith to the Israelites, repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. All praises and glory to Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham Ha Raka Kodash, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and the elders of Great Millstone, which taught us the truth. And Shalom to the hopeful elect, may you endure to the end. Shalom.